What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. So recently, a few of you asked me to test WinLater on Exynos phones with the Xclipse GPU, like the Exynos 2200 and the Exynos 2400, which are based on AMD's RDNA architecture. Now, honestly, I don't own any of those phones with me, but I did come across one YouTuber who tested a few games using WinLater Bionic and GameHub Emulator, and honestly, the results are pretty solid. And it's actually quite surprising. With the right driver setup, WinLater seems to perform almost on par with Adreno-based Snapdragon devices. So in this video, I'm going to break down the best possible settings you can use for these Exynos RDNA GPUs, just to help you get the smoothest gameplay experience. You can use any of these emulators, both Bionic and GameHub. So here, I'll first show the best settings for WinLater Bionic. Same as usual, go to Settings, set the Box64 preset to Performance, and leave the others at default. Now create a new container. Keep in mind these settings are only for Exynos version users. Set the screen resolution you prefer. These are recommended. Now here is the main part. Set the Wine version to Proton 9.0 ARM version. For the graphics driver, set it to System Driver. And the good thing is that the Xclipse GPU has better inbuilt drivers, thanks to the AMD RDNA architecture. Here, select DXVK. Set the DXVK version based on the games you play, use these versions, and that's it. And, in advanced, set Box64 version to 0.3.4 and preset to performance as usual. In processor affinity, enable all CPU cores. If you are using Exynos 2400, use all 10 cores. For some games, you may need to turn off CPU 1 and CPU 2, as shown. I mean the additional Cortex-A720 cores. Save the container. These are the recommended settings. Now coming to GameHub Emulator. This is one of the best well-optimized emulators, especially for Snapdragon users. Now, it also works well on Exynos as well. The process method is the same as usual. First, you need to import your games to the library. After you import, go to its PC game settings. Set the screen resolution. Lower is always better. Now to compatibility. And here, as usual, Set the compatibility layer to Proton 9 ARM64 version. In Translation Params, set it to Performance Configuration. In GPU Driver, set it to System Driver. Everything almost sounds the same like we did on Bionic. Set the DXVK version. And if you're playing GTA 5, set it to 2.3.1. Set Vulkan D3D to version 2.12, which is quite optimized. And finally, set VRAM limit to 2 to 4G. That's it. These are the best settings. You can also take a look at this. It's actually performing really well in GTA 5 on the Galaxy S24, getting a pretty decent 2530 FPS, even without proper driver support like Snapdragen. And GTA 4 in 1440p 2K resolution. This is actually insane. Just look at the constant FPS running on the Xclipse GPU. But to be honest, just imagine, if this GPU had better driver support, we could expect even more. This Xclipse 940 GPU comes with AMD's RDNA 3 architecture. And yeah, it's powerful, with more graphics float operations. That's all for this one. It's actually running really well on Exynos, especially if you set with the right settings. Some games even run smoothly on DirectX 11, and DirectX 10 works without any issues in most cases. Hope this helps. Check out the links below. Drop a like if you found this useful, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.